Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the mechanized gem, what it is, why it's important, how you can get started using it. I'm, to be honest, kind of surprised that I haven't made a video about this gem before because it's one of my favorites and I'm really excited to share it with you today. So, what is mechanized? It is, well, actually there's a lot you can do with it, but one of the biggest and kind of the, the main thing that it does is help you navigate and parse HTML pages using Ruby scripts and it's uh, it's super helpful so the one I'm about to show this this example that I'm about to show you now is uh, a sequence of logging into a website clicking a couple links and then looking for particular elements on the page I've also used mechanize for scraping financial data off of Yahoo Finance and a couple other sources that have stock data really the possibilities are endless and there's yeah there's just so much you can do with it what you see here or so if you're if you're not familiar with the organization kiva.org they are a microfinance uh, nonprofit and they help people in developing countries get business loans so I used to work for them I think it's a super cool company and I continue to support them to this day so one of the activities that I find myself doing very often is logging into the website and this is the splash page when you log in and then clicking details and lend in a country you haven't supported yet I, I uh, this is a this is a fun thing that that people do is trying to lend in all of the countries that Cuba is active in I guess that's that's more when I say people I mean Cuba power users because probably most people don't <laughs> don't know about this but so that's that's one of the things that I'm aspiring to be able to lend in all the countries and it's it's getting pretty tough because I've gotten most of the active countries already and there's very few left but I come on here every once in a while and click on this details button and then click on this lend in a country I don't support it yet so at the moment I believe there are not any active yeah so there's no I got tired of clicking through that sequence what I did was wrote this script and had it run as you see here every time I open a new terminal window or even a new tab it runs through that what this script does is mimic the process of logging in of clicking on buttons and then looking for for loans that are available. And I will show you what the Lend page looks like when there are ones available, just so that you can have that contrast to see. So usually there's like a whole bunch, and then, and then what these last lines of the script do is look for particular CSS classes, and then if those exist, then it prints it out on the screen. So let's just go through it, how, how to implement it, and I hope that you enjoy it and have some cool ideas of how you might be able to use it. Um, other, other things that I've done in the script, although they're commented out right now. So this block right here is for, or, or I should say what it does is it goes onto a page, goes onto the Lend page actually, and it's sort by repayment term. And so what I'm looking for, my goal with this one is to find ones that have short repayment periods. And so you can see this bit right here. It's saying if the, if the payback period for this loan or for this loan or for this loan or for all of them, if it's less than or equal to five months and the repayment term is monthly rather than all at once like at the end or whatever, um, so if if a particular loan meets both of those criteria then put that link onto the page so this is like so this is a pretty simple one because it's just logging in and then clicking a couple buttons this one is like actually a sequence that would take me a really long time to do because it entails opening this page and then clicking through every single link on the page and checking for that and that's just like more than a human would realistically want to do. I have a, a couple other things going. These are all commented out right now and I haven't updated them for Kiva's entire site rewrite that happened recently. 
Um, but that's something that I would definitely like to come back to at some point in the near future. It'd be it'd be really cool if I could just automate my whole Kiva flow. Let's uh, let's just use this as an example, and we'll walk through how you you know start a browser and mechanize how you navigate to URLs, click on things, entering stuff, and it's it's uh, it's pretty intuitive, which is nice. You can see in these first few lines, I added a few gems, mechanize, obviously, and .env so that I could show you this page without showing you my username and password. That's for environment variables, obviously, and I, I do have a .env video out on the channel, so I'll have a link to that in the description. And basically, this is this is all it is. It's really simple. I have this is line six through eight are instantiating a headless browser, and I'm saying it's a Mac Safari browser, and so that's how it will appear to websites that are or that it's that it's querying. And then I say a or the browser browser dot get this URL, and then do and and then everything within it is a do block, right? Do and end here. Do the page. All right. Now that I have the page as like a, a Ruby object, actually, let me do puts page here and then run this again. Oh shoot. Okay. So so it saves it as a mechanized object. So I should say page dot expect. So to the mechanized browser, this is what you see when you open kiva.org slash login. And then you can look for form.last, and it's it's really just a matter of like experimenting around and saying like, you know, where is the login field, right? And and I mean it's right there. So I said form equals page forms last. And then I filled in this field, form.email, right? form.password and it really is as easy as just like setting as if email was an attribute of form which it is and as if password is an attribute of form you fill those in and then you can say submit you know browser browser dot submit form and in case the browser needs to know which button it's buttons dot first right so you're not accidentally clicking the forgot your password or whatever right um, and so, and really, like it's it's super intuitive. Like that's the whole that's the whole flow for like log, like going to a page, looking for the form, entering your username and password, and then clicking the login button. This is where things get like even more cool. So I said unsupported countries link and its portfolio, which is this page. This is the It's the splash page right here that you see when you first log in. And it's portfolio at the element that says search missing countries. And so if you inspect this element, you can see there it is, the class search missing countries. And that's how Mechanize knows that you, you want that link in particular. So it says, Browser dot click, and then you want to click that link, right? And then borrower details wrap is just a unique HTML class that's on pages that have, or that's on loan elements, and and it only runs if the, if it's there, if it's in existence. That's why nothing came up because for for my account in particular, there aren't any countries with loans that are available that I have not lent to in the past. But again, if you just did this to kiva.org slash lend and didn't have these params as, as a filtering, then a whole bunch would show up here. So that's about it. I, I highly recommend this gem. I have a lot of fun with it. It's been great, like I said, for picking up stock data, for automating things like logging in to Kiva and checking stuff out. And really the sky's the limit. Uh, one of my friends actually used Mechanize to do a Craigslist scraper. There's just a lot you can do. Have fun 
and I'll see you all in the next video.